so you guys welcome to today's blog i thought today we could discuss uh, everything to do with the uh, craziness that comes with sanitization of the groceries because we are buying them and guys things are getting crazy my friends we need to do everything that we can and leave the rest to god because things are not good it's not those days when we were, we were all saying that we don't know anyone with coronavirus. It is real. It is happening. People have lost loved ones and we, we don't want to risk anymore. So what are you going to do when you come from your grocery shopping? Those are my bags. I'm just from the stores. So what are we supposed to do? What is the safest way? Because at the end of the day, we are sanitizing, but I am afraid we are, some of us are taking it way to an extreme and that could cost us a lot in other ways so what are you doing hi and welcome to my channel my name is rachel and i do videos like uh all related to food grocery hauls anything food uh fitness motivation i do time and money saving videos and so Thank you so much if you're a subscriber if you're not and you think that is something you would really want to watch once in a while what i think and at the same time you let me know what else i need to get from you i kindly ask you to subscribe now hit it now and if you like this video please remember at the end of it all if you think it's worth it anyone could uh, learn a thing or two about it please hit the like button and you can share what what are you doing with your groceries what are some of those things you've really tried and you trying and they are working and you think every other person should know this is the blog where we need to educate one another and let everyone know what we should do because i think we are assuming too much and things are getting uh, thick in nairobi the cases are increasing in kenya in general and really guys we need to do whatever that we can just play your part sanitize your mukonos via your masks uh ukitoka kwa stores chana na salamu appear less in public if you can and just for this blog what are we going to do what do we do with the groceries after tumefika nyumbani nazo what are those safe ways that we can use to make sure that um every other thing is just like okay Guys, I think the basics is simple. We are going to the stores. Uh, thankfully, the stores have been very, very like strict without a mask, without sanitizing, without checking the temperatures. You are like not allowed to enter the stores. This is from Garden City to TRM to Westgate Mall. Those are places I have been and the hub Karen. Like you can't go in if you're not uh, sanitizing if you're not wearing your mask and they are checking your temperatures that means if they think um, yours is like in a range that is not safer then you are not going to enter those places but we already know that the whole corona thing has the incubation period and all that so that is the dangerous point point number one you've worn your mask you've sanitized your hands you have your gloves for the additional protection well done so you've done your shopping so we are home so what do we do because we have everything that we went to shop for so do you just come and grab your things and just put them to your pantry to your kitchen counter to all that what you do so it has been observed that people have used all manner of disinfectants to just sanitize their groceries and that is where the warning is um the use of disinfectants that are not uh supposed to be ingested in the human body could cause you more trouble that could cause uh, food poisoning respiratory issues 
uh, maybe possible bans if if uh, the the disinfectants are way not to be handled uh, with your hands when you're wiping those groceries. And all that is related to the misuse that has been observed of late and that has been in the increase when it comes to the observers. The experts say uh, food poisoning due to disinfectants use has increased in the months that we have been fighting all this corona madness. So what is safe out there to be used? So the medics kind of like agree on what is safe to be used and how to use it. And in this, we are talking about uh, four things. We have uh, isopropyl that you can rub on your stuff. We have alcohol, yeah, the wine and spirit kind of stuff. Your diluted uh, bleach, which you should again dilute in a very, very uh, considerable way and you use in a very uh, careful way because that is that that could cause a lot of problem on your skin and even when you use it on food stuff I, I have once watched a video of someone who used to to say that uh, I think a couple of videos she used to say that the grandma used to wash to rinse the utensils with some jig let me use that word but just to me to mean bleach but she was very specific about the jig bleach so why on earth would anyone anyone rinse their utensils with bleach and she was there to say all those of you telling me about cancer and stuff like that you should know my grandmother lived up to 102 years Okay, that is crazy. And I don't know whether I could call it like ignorance or what, but really you know the what what bleach is made of. And if you don't know, you need to check on such things. And just because someone else did it and you think they are, they turned out to be okay, you don't need to do the same mistake for your own sake. That was a by the way. The other thing that is very very good and what i advocate for you to use if you can't get uh, the alcohol which is practical to get and and cheaper i would advise you to get hydrogen peroxide for disinfecting your your groceries i have also seen people talk about ammonia ammonia is is not something you want to uh, get near your skin or anything why would you want to get it on something that you will be consuming we need to think about how else you can deal with your groceries with, because it's not um wiping is not the only thing that you can do so there are some of the things that you can do one of them being uh wiping the product like i said and if you're going to wipe the product please choose hydrogen peroxide you can also choose uh, vinegar, which is way um, lesser effective, less effective. Thank you. Less effective when it comes to all that, but you can consider alcohol in this case. So if it is about uh, packaged stuff, you can choose, number two, you can choose to empty the packaging. So for example, if you are talking about this, so I don't have gloves on, but I have sanitized my corners. So make sure that if you're still from the stores, you are still wearing your masks. Yes, if you can, you can change the mask from the one that you were wearing before and just uh, buy wear another one. You see there is already the outer cover. So you can empty this, just tear, tear this and get whatever that is inside and then you can store that on uh, wherever you store it in your cupboards, whatever, whatever, and you'll be fine. Stuff like this, those are things that uh, you won't use like immediately and in this category we are talking about um, non-food items, tissue paper, bleach, harpic, uh rose water anything that is non-food there are two ways you can deal 
with all this this like i said the tissue you can just uh, remove the top whatever and store your tissues the other stuff you can wipe the bottled ones you can wipe anything if you don't want to do all that then you can store all the non-food items somewhere outside your house okay if it's your garage if it's your that room that serves as a store or a store or balcony or anywhere just store it there for a few days and they say it should be fine with if it is about uh fruits again remember fruits are inside there so you only need to you can rinse assuming this had no easy to shimmer you can rinse everything up but since it has this just empty a clean place because remember when you wash them if you're not using them immediately they can go bad and you don't want them to go bad so every other thing in terms of the the glass whatever's in the cans see cans my tuna can just wipe them with that water mix the water one part of hydrogen peroxide to two parts of uh, clean water and just use a clean cloth you can have your gloves on but there's no problem I, I don't have gloves like when i'm doing that but i always have my mask before i deal with all that uh, wiping and arranging and everything so once you get rid of all those uh packagings that were exposed that every other person was touching in the stores then you are good to go i want to talk about bleach because i know so many people will consider using bleach and it is usually available if you want to get hydrogen peroxide which is uh um not expensive and you result on using bleach whether it is or the other the the bleach the the one for the white garments and stuff like that you need to be careful about one thing that i think most people take for granted when it comes to this you should never like mix bleach with another thing and I think there, sh there should be a place where it's indicated that you shouldn't. This is because mostly when you mix the bleach with something else, it's likely to, to give out some gases that could get into your respiratory system and cause you trouble. So assuming it's something you're doing regularly, then you're causing a lot of damage to your body and that is not something you want that's it friends for today thank you so much for your time thank you for being a subscriber and for your overall support for the whole thing and i will see you next when i do my next video bye